I actually really like it when I see coffee stains or soup stains on resumes or spelling mistakes. And I know this is completely opposite of what everybody says. And the reason is, is because it is complete opposite of what everybody says. And I've listened to this, this, the same old stuff over and over and over again, where people say that you have to have a perfect resume. That's the only thing that actually matters. But in my experience, the people that have coffee stains or that it looks like they're trying their best and there's a, an odd mistake or something like that, it usually means that they are dealing with other things that are going on in their life that makes it a lot more difficult than everybody else. I know that this seems like it's a challenging thing for all of us to hear and the process and is completely different than what everybody else says. But the key is, is to imagine what people are going through on the other side. And in my experience, if you have a lot of coffee stains, if there are just things going on in your life, it just is too hectic. And then you need to get the best that you could possibly do with what you actually have. And if that's the case, that means that people are struggling with something else. And I'm gonna give them more of the benefit of the doubt. Now, here's the thing. I am the one out of a thousand people that are going to actually process this and look at this because I know I've been there. I've, I am the person that always has a coffee stain on something or that there's something that's crumply or that I have mustard stains on my shirt. I was that person and I still am that person. And I just know that there's a lot of life that's going on behind the scenes. And I, I am not that perfect person. And I, that's where I want people to understand in where I'm going with this is that often the non-perfect people have a lot more to say. There is a lot more interesting things that are going on in their life than the person that has it all together. Because the person that has it all together, it looks like things are organized and it's it's so simple and so easy for them to, to, to have this happen. And I do believe that there are lots of people that are like that, that they don't appreciate what it means to have the climb, to feel the pain, the sort of struggle that you go through. But if I see somebody go from you know, really struggling at something to finally mastering it and getting it to, to work, then man, I know they, they, they have the chops for life to do well, for struggling with anything. And that's what I want you to sort of think about. It's not necessarily having everything perfect. That is the key thing. But knowing how to just deal with life when it doesn't deliver what you think it is to get back up and, and to repeat as many times as you can, even when you don't feel like it and you have that sort of vomity feeling and you're like, I just don't want to do this. I don't want to get back up. I don't want to do this. This is hard to do. I keep embarrassing myself. I look ridiculous, but I get back up and do it again. And it's in that failure moment. It's in where it doesn't feel good. It's in the, 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 the grindy part of things that things actually start to click for a lot of people. And if you know how to click, if you know how to get there, and those are the people that have the mustard stains, man, they're trying their best. If they're struggling, that means that they will actually get there eventually. And it just requires a great deal of effort and thoughtfulness along the way that I know that you can get to. If you're one of those people that struggle like me, I hope, I wish, that um, we can hear these messages more often. All right, take care and have a wonderful day.